Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I am bringing you a tutorial of this multi-purpose cloth. It has, well, three uses that I can think of. One, it can be a coaster. Two, it can be a dishcloth or a scrubby. And three, it could be a doily. So let's get started. So while you can use any cotton yarn, uh, just keep in mind that the thicker cottons like the peaches and cream from Walmart, it doesn't nestle as nicely into the, the higher end cottons like the Premier Home and the one I'm gonna show you today by Universal Yarn. So the three in front of you, white is peaches and cream. The, the turquoise and the turquoise with white is Premier Home Cotton. These are much more pliable yarns than the peaches, as you can see. And this is much more stiff when you are going to nestle it in. So if you are going to combine them like I did, combine the stiffer one on the bottom of the three and you should be fine. The other stack over here is, these are all Hobby Lobby yarns. This is I Love This Cotton. And they have a whole line, just like the other companies, that match each other really nicely, that is very easy to gift. If you want to make sets of these for craft fairs or gifts, or even if you wanted to create a beautiful topper for a present instead of a bow, I think this would be awesome. If you wrapped the present and then put just a string through the center here or a thread and then put like the gift tag or maybe some curling ribbon in the middle, I just think it would be really pretty and a very, very presentable gift as well. You can make these any size you want. If you want to make a large round piece with a ruffle, you certainly can. It's going to take more yarn, but if you want to use it for like uh, underneath of a bowl for um, one of your get-togethers, or maybe you even want to gift something like that to somebody, I will show you how to do that. It's simple increasing. There's nothing too difficult about this that a beginner couldn't tackle. Uh, it's it's quick, it's fast, and it can use up your cotton scraps. And I know I have a ton of them. I love purchasing cotton yarn and I love just whipping up dishcloths. So I have a ton of leftovers and scraps everywhere. So you can make sets and sets and sets of these to sell, to give, whatever. My first initial thought was I'm going to put it under my little tree because that's, that's what I had designed it for. It could go under your coffee. So I have a coffee cup here and it, it is not an attractive coffee cup, but it is the smaller ones that we have in our house. And I'll actually turn it so it's on its better side, which is sort of sad, but it can go under a coffee cup. It could go under a vase. So if you need something as a center just to put underneath of a vase, that works. If you need to use it to scrub your dishes, the ruffling would help with that. Also, if you have a set of these in your kitchen drawer, you can use it for all of the above plus whatever you can think of. It's just a multi-purpose cloth, for sure. Multi-use, multi-purpose cloth. So let's get started. So today I will be using Universal Yarn. This is their clean cotton, 100% reclaimed fibers. Gonna take the band off. 2.65 ounces, 75 grams, 131 yards, 120 meters. It's a medium weight four. It's made out of 85% recycled cotton, 15% recycled polyester. My daughter loves this stuff. I have made her some of the face scrubbies that I have a tutorial on. She really likes the yarn that I use for this a lot. Um, she prefers it over the Walmart peaches and cream yarn. Uh, she said it's nicer to her skin. So if you are thinking about gifting something as far as a spa or something to wash your face with, that kind of cloth, I recommend Universal's yarn. Um, it's a good quality yarn. 
it's very wearable as well if you're looking for a wearable cotton and it's recycled so what more can you ask for uh color on this one color is peach rose 108 if you're looking to purchase some i have a little bit of my other color over here left and i'll i'll show you it i balled it up because i I don't waste cotton, I'm telling you, especially the good stuff. I'm not going to do that, so I have the rest of my ball in this one. <laughs> Same specs on this, and this color is peony. So this is a pink, while well, this is a peach. There we go. Peony and peach. Great yarn. Great yarn. I will link below Universal Yarn. I am an affiliate with them and I'm proud to say I'm an affiliate with them. I love their yarn and uh, I, I highly recommend any of their yarn. They have 100% quality yarn. I have never been disappointed with anything I have purchased from them. Okay, so this yarn, whatever it calls for, what does it call for? It calls for a 5mm hook. No. It calls for a 5.5mm or an eye hook. I crochet loosely, so unless I'm going to use a tension ring, which I certainly can, I, I wouldn't use that on this yarn. Personally, for me, it's too small and the hook would be too large. All right, so I'm gonna use a 4.5mm crochet hook. This is from Hobby Lobby. They sell the same style hook at Dollar Tree. It has a boy style head on it, if you are interested in that. This is a magic circle. I lay the end of the yarn over my hand, and then I crisscross over my fingers, just like that. Make an X. And then I put my hook in and pull up a loop. Rearrange in my hand so that the working yarn is going through my hand and I'm going to chain two to secure because that's how we're going to start. And then we're going to put 10 half double crochets into the ring. If you do not like the magic ring, go ahead, chain four, slip stitch to your first chain and then you'll have a ring and then go ahead, chain two and do 10 half double crochets. So 10 half double crochets into the ring. One, two, Once you have your 10 half double crochets, cinch your circle shut and slip stitch to your first half double crochet, ignoring your chain two. Go into your first half double crochet. That chain two is acting as a filler. So we don't have a gap there. Okay, round two, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna put two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So we started with 10 half double crochets. At the end of round two, we will have 20 half double crochets. So two half double crochets in that same space as your chain one. in the next and two in each all the way around.
At the end of your round, slip stitch into your beginning half double crochet. Now we're going to increase again. We're going to chain one. We're going to put two half double crochets in that first stitch or space right there. And now we're going to put one half double crochet in the next. Two half double crochets in the next. One half double crochet in the next. We're going to do that repeat all the way around. And I will meet you in just a moment. So I'm to the end of my round three. I'll give you my measurements so you know how big it is. About two and a half inches in diameter right now. So if you're looking for a standard coffee cup size, this is a little bit small. So you'd want to do one more round. Depending on what yarn you use, it could be large enough. This one is the peaches and cream. And it it's perfectly fine for a cup of coffee. A normal size cup of coffee. If you have a bigger mug, you're going to want to go a bigger center circle. So I'm going to increase one more round. Slip stitch to your beginning half double crochet here. And increasing is just like it is on a hat. Exactly like it is on a hat. So we're going to chain one here and we're going to put two half doubles in that same spot or stitch as the chain one. And in the next stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. And that is going to be our repeat this round. One one and two and repeat that all the way around when we get to the end of this round that should be large enough for any size cup unless it's a really really large custom mug uh, if you want to go larger for a bowl or whatever centerpiece that you're putting in the middle of this uh, you would increase just like you would on a hat so this round we did two one one two next next round you would go two one 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 two two one 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 two two one 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 two round after that you would put four in between the twos and then round after that put five that's how you would increase that's how I increase the top down hats that I make so I'm going to go ahead and go around for my round four, my increasing. Got two, one, one, two, all the way around. And I will join at the end of this round and show you what to do for the ruffling. When you get to the end of your round, slip stitch to your beginning half double crochet. And then we're going to start the ruffling. I'm going to chain two here and then put four double crochets in that same stitch or space as the chain two. So one, two, three, four double crochets in that stitch or space as the chain two. I put four double crochets in each stitch all the way around and it's gonna load those stitches up and it's gonna make it ruffle because there's not enough space for all of those stitches. So here's how it can go. The less stitches you put in, the less ruffling you will have. The more stitches you put in, the more ruffling you will have. So if you want to do less ruffling, I would suggest three. 
I'll do three for a bit to show you what that looks like. One, two, three, and that one. One, two, three, and this one. And I'll keep doing that, even though my design is four ruffles per stitch. Three ruffles per stitch is still pretty. It is less dramatic, and it is less uh, festive, if you will. But it is still beautiful. So while with the four, with the four double crochets in one, you get more of a raised, see that? Three is gonna give you a slightly less raised. So if you want less of a ruffle, do less stitches in each. If you want more of a ruffle, do more stitches in each. I tested this and tried it out. Three was fine. Two was not enough in my opinion. Uh, five was too much. <laughs> so four was like the nice sweet spot. If you want less ruffles than four, I would go with three, but it is all personal preference. Also, if you don't want a large ruffle, go ahead and go and do a half double crochet or do a single crochet. If you just want a tiny ruffle around the edge, single crochet would work great. If you want a medium one, do half double. I do double because I like the way it looks. Um, it's also faster. And if you need more yarn ate up, double crochets would get rid of them quicker. So I'm going to pull back. I'm going to put four in each of these because that is what I like. But three works. If you are not into the large ruffle, go ahead and don't do four, do three or two. It's up to you. It, it's definitely up to you. You're making it. I'm just telling you what I did and then you, you take it from there. You choose how you want to finish your, your own story. Choose your own story. Choose your own ending. Do you remember those books? I remember reading those books. So I'm going to do four double crochets in each stitch and I will meet up with you and I'll show you the end result. So I will see you in a moment. Okay. So when you get to the end of your round, your ruffle round, slip stitch into your first double crochet or whatever stitch you chose to have around as your ruffle, and then cut a length so you can weave in the ends. So you want to make sure if you start with a magic circle that you weave your end in back the other way so your circle, circle does not come out or come loose or come undone. I have never had that problem but I always go the opposite direction so in case you're worried about the end coming out just make sure you're going in the opposite direction when you're weaving in your end with a magic circle. All right, and then I will get my cup that has crochet hooks over here so that you can take a look at it on our multi-purpose cloth. It's so cute. Look at that. Super duper cute. All right, I'm gonna reposition my camera. So, uh, this cup I got at Hobby Lobby, it was on clearance. For $1.74, I decided instead of drinking out of it, I would put crochet hooks in it. 
and see how adorable it is with a cup on it. Now you could use this for your crochet hook containers as well, like I did for my tree. You can see that in the background. Like I said, you could use it for a vase. Uh, you could use it for a bowl if you make the circle in the middle larger. And you can use it to scrub your dishes, scrub your face, scrub the windows, scrub whatever you want. Uh, it's multi-purpose, so it's just a really good all-around cloth for decorative and practical uses. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I appreciate you. Until next time, guys. Bye.